Yes, it's live. Okay. Hey guys, it is Trisha with Canvas Creations. What is on my phone? Hold on. Oh my goodness, it's been a Wednesday. All right, let me um, get on my computer, get things going, give everyone a few minutes to hop on here. Just a day of chaos. Allison all right it's it's a day man it's like I think I've talked about this every day is a roller coaster like there's highs there's lows there's ups there's downs yesterday was definitely one of those days um, I did want to share with you guys I shared the link online but if you got the Delaware paper yesterday and just halfway down here on the page right there yep trolls went through my neighborhood um, I had a awesome time with Paulette's princess parties. Um, we collaborated and had her characters come through my neighborhood. I, I mean, I selfishly did it for my daughter because she loves trolls, but I um, also saw it as an opportunity to help her in her business um, as she helped me. And, you know, we did the uh, Rapunzel painting and, you know, we're going to try to collaborate more in the future. So just wanted to share that with you guys. If you didn't see, I know Allison, they were in your guys' neighborhood before ours. Um, but collaboration is so critical right now. Um, you know, we've, we've, we've been in quarantine for 32 days, technically. Since schools have closed, since I had my last event at the studio, um, it's been 32 days. And, you know, we still have two more weeks. So anything you can to support small businesses, it's so, so, so important. Um, I know a lot of you are going to get that stimulus check. And I know you need groceries. I know you need medicines. I know things are needed. And I get that. But if you can help a local small business with that... It would mean more than you even know. Um, so with that being said, uh, I just want to throw out there that I still have kits for sale. I have the wood cutout kits. I have the, um, uh, these, <laughs> I can't think. This is going to be a fun painting. Um, the take home kits, um, I've got more brushes coming. Um, that way I can include those too. So, and I have a new project coming very soon. Um, it's for the adults. It's a little bigger, um, once I have all that in the details, I'll share it with you. But without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I think everyone is on. So like normal, you'll need two brushes today. Big one, small one. And what we're going to paint today is a lighthouse picture. Um, I was It was a request from a friend the other day. So it is going to be a simpler one. Like I said, I always want to keep these simpler so all ages can do it. Plus, I'm not there to help you if you need help. Um, but it is going to be a lighthouse. Um, and also, I am doing my first Zoom birthday party this week. Um, it's actually tomorrow. So I want to, I'm going to do it, see how it goes, tweak out what I need to tweak out. And then we can start offering like paint parties with your friends via Zoom. Um, I'll just have to get the supplies to everybody, of course, and then we'll all log in and we'll all be on our computers. You can see everyone, not just me. I can see you. Um, and hopefully it'll be something else to offer um, in the next couple weeks while we're still stuck at home. So, all right. So we're going to start out with our big brush and we're going to grab some white paint and not, not halfway, but about a little more than halfway. We're just going to smear some white paint across your canvas. Doesn't really matter where, wherever. And then I'm gonna grab um, a little bit of yellow. And I'm gonna do some yellow on top of that white and some other areas. So when it mixes with the white, it'll give it that really, really light, light yellow. So just kinda put the yellow in wherever you want it. I'm going to grab a little bit more white to come down here because I want the bottom part of my sky to be a really nice pink. So I'm going to grab just a little bit of red on my big brush, not much, and I'm going to put it right on top of that white. And it's just going to blend. You can pull some pink up in here too. You can put your pink wherever you want. It's your picture. just blending, just back and forth blending. 
it, you want it to be streaky. You don't want it to be perfectly smooth or blotchy, just nice and streaky. Okay. And I'm going to grab a little bit more white. My brush is pretty much clean. I don't know if you can see that. My brush is pretty much clean. All the paint's on the canvas. I'm going to grab some white up here. And then I'm going to grab some blue. So I want it to be a nice light blue. Now remember, yellow and blue make green. So be oh, I kind of pull this off of the easel because of the bumps. And the whole easel's coming down. Telling you guys, I do not like easels. <laughs> I am even less of a fan of them now that I have to use it all the time. All right, I'm gonna pull some blue. So I'm gonna put a few little blue streaks in those areas, and then I'm gonna grab some more white to blend those in. So I want them to be faint. I don't want them to be super bright. blue over here too. So you just have a really pretty sky and lots of color to it. If you want a little bit more like pink or red you can add some more. Now that I look back it's kind of faint. So I'm going to add a little bit more white and just a tiny bit more pink in there. More red. Okay, make sure as long as you have any questions. Nope. Okay, cool. Um, and then you can clean off your brush. What the heck? Might as well clean off your brush. <laughs> Executive decision. Clean off your brush. Um, so push down at the bottom of the cup, break up all those bristles. All right, and then at the bottom, we're just gonna do blue down here. So we're just going to do some blue. And you don't have to worry about the one side because we're going to make it more of a silhouette of the land. Um, but you can if you want. It doesn't really matter. And then you're just going to paint across. I said, don't worry about it. And look, here I am still painting it. I can't even listen to my own directions. Okay. Look a little like that. All right, and then if you have your blow dryer, um, go ahead and give this a little dry. I gotta get mine hooked up. I see it sitting on the table, but it's not hooked up. So one moment, please. I'm just going to dry some of this. Um, Give a little bit of dry. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Sonia. I know it's, it's it's like a pretty sunset. All right. So we are gonna add some texture to our water. 
Um, if you have a fan brush, you can use it, but I didn't have those to give out in the kit. So if you got a kit for me, you don't have a fan brush, but you can do the same thing with a smaller brush. Um, so what we're going to do first is grab some white paint and kind of just like the swish of your wrist, kind of like Zorro, you know how Zorro goes, ch -ch -ch -ch. Zorro, you know, Zorro, old school Zorro. Um, so it's going to be similar, like, ch -ch -ch -ch. and that's just kind of how you're going to get waves just kind of all over. They don't have to be perfect. And then you're going to do the same thing with blue. So I'm going to do it with white and then I'm going to do it with blue. And what that's going to do is it's going to overlap some of the white and make it a lighter blue. It's going to overlap some of the blue and make it a darker blue. Um, and it'll just give your whole picture depth. What are you doing, child? God, you guys eat and drink all day long. What the hell do you do? Are you guys kids like that too? Like literally that's all we are is an open restaurant. really loud. <laughs> All right, so you'll add some, some waves in there and that just instantly adds depth to your water. And then clean off your little brush. And what we're gonna do is make the shoreline to where our water hits our shore and land. Um, and so we're going to do that in white because this is kind of going to be a silhouette of everything. Do you need water too? <laughs> so you're just going to kind of come through here. Oh, my blue's still really wet. However you want your shore to be. I have a lot of white paint on here because my blue is so wet from just now. All right, you're like, Trisha, what the heck are you doing? It'll make sense, I promise. Why is it so wet there? I don't know what I was doing. All right, so that's going to be my water to my shore, and then this is going to be black here in a little bit for the shore. So I know it looks silly, but yours will be different. Everyone's will be a little different. I'm painting these. I'm winging them with you guys, so we're winging this together. All right, and then oh, I guess we could have done the sun while we had white. So if you cleaned off your brush, we'll do the sun in a little bit. The sunset or the moon? No, it'd be the sun, not the moon. All right, so now we're going to do our lighthouse. And it's just going to be a real simple lighthouse, and it's just going to be a silhouette. So it's going to be off over here. And the first thing you're going to want to do is make a, um, just a rectangle, a really long rectangle. Okay, there's your rectangle. And then they usually have like a lip up here with a little... Oh, I'm so wobbly today. Okay, so it's got a little bit of a lip. That is not even. I'm like, it's the angle. I can't like support my arm anywhere. All right, and then you, know, you can give it however many little window areas you want it. Just these three. And then a little triangle roof. A little triangle roof. I have to adjust all of these angles. It is so off. might add more in here too, but that looked silly. It didn't look like it could hold it up. My roof just keeps getting bigger and bigger. All right, it is what it is. All right, so once you get the shape of your um, 
lighthouse. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. You can go ahead and fill it in. Uh, you can use your small brush or your bigger brush, whichever you're more comfortable with. I'm going to move to my big brush just to keep this going. I think it's still really big. Okay. And then this is all going to be black too. So it's okay if you um, go too far like I just did. And then if you're done with that, you can follow your black line. Kind of all the way down to where this will be your land. Yeah, that all came together pretty quick. I feel like this needs to come out a little bit more. Whoa! All right. Black trumps everything eventually. That works. Got a nice little gray shadow to it. All right. And then we need to add a little sun coming up in our, our water over here. So, clean off your small brush that's covered in black paint like mine is. And you're just going to grab a little bit of white and you're just going to do a little crescent sun. Just kind of pop it up. I like to do them white because if you add color, it might throw it off. But if you want to add color and make yours yellow, that's okay. I feel like that needs to be way bigger for this picture. too shabby. And then if you want to add some of those little birdies in the background, you know, little flying seagulls. Add a few little tiny flying seagulls. You know, just kind of adds to it a little bit. Nope, don't do too many. <laughs> you got to know when to stop. Um, yeah, and that's that's pretty much it. It's, it's a simple painting. That way anyone can do it. Anyone can add their own little flair to it. Um, I think I'm going to call it quits. I don't want to add too much more and take away from the, the simplicity of it. Um, do I love it? No. This is, I don't know. I think I need the angles throwing me off how I'm trying to paint sideways, but that's okay. Um, and then when you are done, make sure you sign your name at the bottom. You win some, you lose some. You can't win them all, right? All right. So that is that for today. A happy little lighthouse. Um, I hope you guys had fun. Thank you for watching. Uh, please share your finished products with me. You can drop them in the comments. And I will see you again next week. Um, I'll probably be live again before then, though, because I have a few surprises hopefully coming your way. Um, have a great Wednesday, and I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.